everyone, this is Ashley from Ashley's Creations, and um, this week with Stampin' Up! convention, it's held in Salt Lake City every year um, around this time in July, and I didn't get to go. Um, my upline and I were talking about it and thinking maybe we would try and go um, because she knew how excited I would be for it and how much I would love it, but uh, her husband unfortunately had to go to a conference himself so she had to stay home with her children and I don't think I could have afforded it this year anyway so we didn't end up going so instead um, on Wednesday which was the first day of convention my upline decided that we would have an anti pity party for ourselves and for her other downline members um, she's got a couple but there were four of us total so my upline and then three of us who are her downline and we all got together to make projects um, to do our own projects and to do shoebox swaps so <coughs> We each had to come up with a project to do, and this is what I came up with. Um, this was not my idea. I took it from a video that Dawn Griffith made. She's a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. She's absolutely fabulous. I love her. Um, I'll put a link to her video where she did this in my description. But this is a little 6x6 six six note card holder. So this was made using the Stampin' Up! 6x6 six six page protectors. They do not carry these anymore. They retired them. Um, with this last catalog that just ended, but you could go to the store and pick up any, you know, 6x6 six six, uh, page protector and use this. And so, um, I just took the page protector and I attached it to the back of paper. It was scored and, and folded up here. And then I made the matching note cards to go with it. So these are made using the Stampin' Up! note cards. Um, you can get 20 in a set. And I just made some little thank you cards and I used the different colors in the paper this is floral district by Stampin' Up and I used the colors in the paper to create four different styles they're all the same style but all different colors so I picked four of the colors from the paper and each of the colors are on three of the three of the note cards and then I the same color as the first one is the top of, is the paper up there so um, this was created using the Just Believe stamp set, and then this is Lacey and Lovely, which I just got in the mail the other day. And, um, so these are the note cards that I made to go in here. And then Don also shows you how to make the matching pen for it. So, um, these are made using the Pentel RSVP pens. Let me show you the packaging. Oops, I'm so sorry about that. I bumped the camera. I just picked these up from Staples. They were four dollars for a pack of five, <coughs> um, and you just you can unscrew the cap back here, and you can slide your paper right in. We have to roll it first, but anyway, and we also used I used a fastener, a Velcro fastener from Staples, and then I put a little rosette up here. I made a rosette for everyone to put on theirs. So um, this is the the swap that my the other girls made. Um, for me, and then I did this one while I was there, so I just used, I did the same thing, but I used a different pattern from the Floral District paper, um, but everything else is still the same, all the note cards are, you know, still the same. So, you could put, you know, anything in here, if you're giving it to somebody as a gift, it could be thinking of you cards, because maybe somebody doesn't, you know, need a lot of thank you cards, maybe they could use thinking of you cards, or miss you, or just, hello, my upline Michelle used... Hello from Lacey and Lovely instead of using thank you. And then I also made the pen to match this one. Oops, I'm not on camera, I'm sorry. I made the pen to match that one. So this was the project that I did and everyone said they really loved it. So I will post a link to Dawn's video. So if you want to try this out, she gives you all the dimensions and everything you need to create that. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.